we're here to talk about the Saturday's game. Um, Tennessee Volunteers versus Detroit. Tro uh, what is it? Troy. Who cares? We're sure it's the Trojans. Um, we are 3-5. and five. We just came off a tough loss to South Carolina. But we are at home. And it is homecoming. And it is Troy. And we are at SUC. This game should be um, a blowout on our part, hopefully. It shouldn't even be close. Um, I think we're upset, pretty pissed off from the South Carolina um, loss. So I expect us to come out um, very pumped up and uh, hyped against Troy. Uh, it'll be a good rebound game for for us before we go to take on Missouri at home on November 10th. Um, it should be an easy win for us. Um, I think if we win this game, which we should, we'll win out the rest of the season. we got another tough game at Vanderbilt. But other than that, I mean, and we should win that game pretty good too. So I expect this, I expect this to be a, a pretty – Outside of victory, um, I think it'll be close. For those of the, I'm gonna be gone this weekend. I'm not gonna be able to watch the game. I'm gonna be out in Maryville. But those of you who are gonna be watching the game, if y'all have any way of watching it, or if you're going to the game, don't be alarmed if it's close at close at at the end of the first quarter. But it probably will be. Um, the smaller schools are always really amped up and pumped up to play the bigger schools. They're always looking for an upset, so it's gonna be a closely contested game in the first quarter. But don't you know, don't don't worry, don't panic because we're the better team and it's just a matter of time. We're gonna pull away eventually. I I do realize that Troy is not an SDS team. They are still a division one A FBS school, I believe. But we're a lot bigger, a lot stronger, a lot faster than they are. And we're just a better team. So this will be a good win for us, good confidence builder, good rebound game. Before we take on Missouri, um, one thing we we need to improve on this week. I realize there's not too much we can do before the season's end as far as defense goes, but we can try to work on our secondary a little bit. We get our confidence going a little bit before we take on Missouri uh, in the secondary. Um, Prince, Prince Wagner's got to step up and play play like the cornerback. He knows he can be. Um, I, I but, and it shouldn't even be that. I like, like I said, if we do play bad in secondary, it's not going to affect anything. We're going to win the game regardless of whether they play good or not because we're just a better team. They're going to make plays when they have to make plays. When it comes down, when it when it comes down to crunch time, you know, they're going to make enough plays, just enough, to, you know, stop them on defense. Um, but uh. Offensively, we're going to get Rajon Neal, Rajon Neal back from his um, knee injury, I believe. It was a knee injury. Um, we're going to get him, hopefully, we'll get him warmed up, get him going again before we take on Missouri. Um, get get him get him back in the flow of the game, get, get, back, get him back in, in the game flow. Um, he's going to be a big factor in this game. He won't, he pro you probably won't see him get a lot of action because he is coming off an injury, so he'll, he'll probably have a, limit, a limited amount of snaps. Uh, Derek Dooley said that he's not 100% yet, but he will almost certainly play this Saturday. So expect to see a lot of Rajon New, a lot of Marlon Lane. Um, you might see a little bit of Devin Young, but in my opinion, they shouldn't even have Devin Young in, a, in the running back lineup. They should keep, keep him at return specialist, and that's it. I love Devin Young. He's a great football player, but he, he's he's too small to be a running back, especially in the SEC. He's, he's going to get killed out there. They need to keep it between Mar uh, Rajon, Rajon New and Marlon Lane. Both are very talented running backs. Um, but, yeah, you'll see Rajon New. He'll be back off his injury. So those of us, those Tennessee balls who love to see a good running game, we're going to finally get it back. Um, the rest of the season, when we get back in the SEC play, um, this is a homecoming game. 
There is expected to be 85,000, I believe, at the game. So it'll be a pretty good attendance rate for a non-conference, dare I say, con uh, cupcake game. But uh, Brady's going to have his – he's going to have, have a good day. Uh, Cora Patterson's going to do his thing. And uh, let's get this win. Let's go, let's, let's, uh, go four and five and uh, get Dooley. Keep him from having a heart attack. I know he's probably about to have a card attack right now with what they're playing, but uh, everybody's just got to keep their heads up high. You know, the season's not over. Like I said in the other video, all we got to do is win out the rest of the season. We're going to go 7-5. and five. If we just keep our head down straight and play like we're, we should, we will finish out the season and get a, get a good bowl bid, win that, hopefully win that bowl game, go 8-5, and five, and Billy will be back. So uh, that's all I got. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the game this Saturday. Once again, I won't be able to watch it. I'll be out, I'll be out of town in Maryville, but uh, I will be keeping track of it. So go Rocky Top, go Vols, and good luck to the volunteers this Saturday.